Hi Sagittarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of October 7th to October 13, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Sagittarius, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below. That will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your energy, Sagittarius, for the week. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me the energy of Sagittarius in regards to love for this week, please. Sagittarius. Get one shuffle. What's the energy of Sagittarius in regards to love for this week? All right, first card we have is the Strength card. We also have the Four of Swords. Okay. We also have the Fool card here. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Swords with the Tower, with the Eight of Cups, and the Emperor. All right, let's see what's going on. All right, Sagittarius. So I do feel like you. Um, I do feel like you made the decision here with the Queen of Swords to bring down the tower uh, between you and another person, and with the Eight of Cups, this is an energy of you walking away from a situation, walking away from a relationship or a connection. Um, yeah, you made the decision to bring down the tower and free yourself and allow yourself to have a new beginning. With the strength card, it kind of looks like it was a difficult decision for you to make, but with the four of swords, it kind of looks like um, the stress wasn't worth it, you know? The stress, the drama, the emotional conflict, the mental conflict wasn't worth it. Some of you feel like you're better off on your own than you are with this person. So yeah, I'm getting like an overall energy of, no, I'm not going back there. I'm not going back there. It's not worth it. It's not worth the stress. You know? It's not worth me losing my hair over. It's not worth me getting sick over. <clears throat> and having bad health. Or, you know, having constant headaches. Or having constant anxiety. It's just not worth it. Okay. Yeah, you feel proud of yourself is what I'm getting also with the strength card. You feel proud of, of the decision that you're making, uh, you know, putting yourself first, basically, and doing what's best for you. Okay. Oh, okay, look at this. So we have the emperor here at the bottom of the deck with the king of swords, which is basically the true match and the true pair to the queen of swords. So now we have the king and the queen of swords showing up here. Um, and also we have the Wheel of Fortune we, with the Chariot card, with the Five of Cups. So somebody regrets how they acted with you in the past. King of Wands, Knight of, Nine of Wands, Eight of Wands, Knight of Cups. Yeah, someone regrets how they, how they treated you or how they acted in the past. Um... With the Emperor and the King of Swords, this person is ready to get their act together, is what I'm seeing here. Especially because we're, they're showing up with the Emperor energy. Male or female, doesn't matter the gender. But the, the Emperor energy is telling me that this person is ready to get their act together. They're ready to straighten, straighten out. 
Um, they're ready to step up to the plate. They're ready to do what they need to do. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot card, I feel like this person is like rushing towards you. They're speeding towards you with this with this speeding car here. They're speeding towards you, rushing towards you. With the Wheel of Fortune, it kind of looks like they want to save their relationship with you. They're, de they're determined to not lose you, is what I'm noticing here. They're very determined to not lose you. They're very determined to prevent you from walking away from them. Let me clarify this person's energy here. All right, let's see. It's, let's see your person's energy. All right, Spirit, tell me about the King of Swords to the Emperor, please. Showing up um, in this person's energy, whoever Sagittarius is connecting to. All right, so we have here, wow, the king of pentacles, okay, male or female. We also have the four of swords again. We also have the nine of cups. Yeah, it's like this person knows that you're not happy with them. They know very well that you're not happy with them, that you're not pleased with them, that, you know, you don't feel like you're getting what you want from them. This person thought you were you would never leave is what I'm noticing. Yeah, this this person thought you would never leave. This person thought you would never walk away. Uh, you would never pull the plug. But it kind of looks like this person's now realizing that you're very willing or you're very capable of pulling the plug on this relationship. I don't know why I'm getting like a lazy energy from, from them. Some of you might, might have been dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. But I do feel like this person was being lazy or they were being very um, laid back. Not laid back in this relationship with you. I don't know what their deal was though. What was this person trying to do? Let me just see that. What was this person trying to do in the past between um, them and Sagittarius? What were this person's intentions in the past? What were this person's intentions in the past between them and Sagittarius? So we do have the Justice card. Oh, I was going to say Libra and I didn't say it. I had Libra in my mind. Well, when I said lazy, I, I had... When I said that the, that I felt like this person was being lazy, I had I had the zodiac sign of Libra. But I didn't want to kind of offend, but you know. Uh Libras are known to be lazy sometimes. That's kind of like the negative side of Libra. So, I feel like they were keeping things very neutral between the two of you. Yeah. Almost like they were being ambivalent. <clears throat> they were being ambivalent. They were keeping things neutral. You, you didn't know where you stood with them. They weren't taking any action. But it kind of looks like now you're pulling the plug and now they're ready to get their act together. The, what I don't like about this person is that I feel like this person knew from the beginning like they they've known all all this time that you're not happy you know that you want more but i feel like this person just kind of took a back seat 
to this relationship. And it feels a little bit ego, I'm, I'm, uh, ego driven. It feels egotistic is what I'm getting or selfish is what I'm getting from their energy. What's the Wheel of Fortune to the Chariot card, Spirit? Yeah, I'm definitely getting the energy of reality um, sinking in or reality hitting this person. And it's causing them to wake up. Because I feel like this person was sleeping on you. What's the Wheel of Fortune, Chariot? Yeah, Ace of Cups. So I feel like this person definitely is ready to um, extend out a love offer with the Ace of Cups. Um, make some sort of promise to you is also what I'm getting. Yeah, I feel like they're ready to get serious with you, make you a promise, um, extend out a love offer, um, maybe make things official between the two of you is also what I'm getting. All right, so Sagittarius, I'm going to stop the reading right here now, and I'm going to continue now in the extended reading. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at your person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, what are their true and real intentions with you for the week. What actions will they take towards you moving forward? And what will the overall outcome be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.